Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video today guys We're gonna be taking a look at Decidueye Inteleon here once again Now I did a video on in this deck um, Obviously back when Pog was a thing. I played this to the Pog Championships um, Didn't do too hot with it. I did win some games though And I still think that Decidueye Inteleon is something decent um, The reason why you want to play Inteleon is because you have the ability Shady Dealings Of course it gets you item cards which can set you up for rare candy Decidueyes on your second turn um, especially with Drizzle, but you also have the option to have a water type attacker that can help you against Volcanion and also help you against other decks that play counters to Decidueye. So that's why the Inteleons are so good. Now, I will say this deck did get nerfed. Um, it Losing counter gain is really unfortunate for this deck. Like this deck really benefited from playing counter gain, uh, but now counter gain is no longer a thing with this deck. So this deck did kind of take a bit of a hit thanks to counter gain rotating. That was one of the things I liked about this deck was counter gain. Attacking with Aqua Bullet for one energy was really, really good. So without counter gain, this deck is a little bit weaker. Um, but this is what I tried to work with. This is what I tried to build and uh, how it went. So forget the video, guys. Of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pan codes, guys, just get them over at Card Cabin TCG. Card Cabin is selling PDC Joe codes for the cheapest on the market. So yes, guys, if you're looking for any Champions Path codes, or if you guys are looking for team-up codes, Darks of Blaze codes, Sword and Shield codes, Rebel Clash codes, Unbroken Bonds codes, get them over at Card Kevin. Card Kevin also sells any GX or V code that you're looking for. Or maybe you're looking for a Battle Arena deck code. Get them over at Card Kevin TCG, guys. And if you get any codes from Card Kevin, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. It greatly supports channel, helps stuff out, and helps out Card Kevin in the process, too. So shout out to Card Kevin TCG. Check them out and make sure you use my discount code, code LDF, if you get any codes. Um, you can also check out their buy list if you want to trade any unused codes or cards you don't want to keep. Give them to them, give, get some cash, and in store credit. Let's take a look at this list. So, this is what I've came up with for my Decidueye Italian list. Not sure how I'm feeling about this list just yet. I'm actually opting to only play three Decidueyes, because Italian does actually put in work, too. Um, it's not a bad card. It's got a 160 HP, so it's decently tanky for a stage 2 non GXV card. Aqua Bullet, you know, 120 for two. Now again, Counter Gain was what this deck really had going for it. Without Counter Gain, this deck does feel a little bit weaker. Not gonna lie to you guys, I really do miss Counter Gain being in this deck. Um, because against Volcanion, they knock out like a Rowlet. You just go like Counter Gain, Aqua Bullet out of nowhere and knock them out. It was so satisfying. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a loss. Um, now smart stuff in the deck, really it's just Mew. Like there's not much going on. There's no Jirachi. We're just playing Sobble, Drizzle, and a 4-3 to Situate line. I'm um, going to the items now. We got energy spinner um, to find energy, I guess, uh, because you don't want to miss energy attachments in this deck because of the fact that Inteleon and, you know, counter gain is gone. All both Pokemon need two energy attachments to attack. I feel like you just want to have ways to find your energy and never miss an energy attachment. That's also why I play training cord in this deck, too, so that we're just never missing these energy attachments because it's just important to always be attached to energy every single turn because without counter gain, this deck is a lot more slower than it used to be. And also, this can get search. This is searchable energy with Inteleon. Um, Vanivo, Incense, Rod, Calm, Quick Ball. Not too sure if that's a good Pokemon search count. Maybe play a couple Great Balls. Um, got four Rare Candies. Uh, three Scoop Up Net. This is just here for Inteleon. You can Scoop Up Net off the board against ADP. You can also use it to Scoop Up Net it so you can reuse its ability again. Um, we got one Training Court for the energy. One Turf Field for Decidueye. One Boss. Four Marty, four Research. Two Rosa. Uh, got the two big Paracels, obviously. It's really popular right now. Decidueye. Four Auroras, three Grass, two Waters, one Capture. I mean, this could actually be a weak card if you want, but you already have the Water Attackers in the deck, but playing weak card's not bad. But the reason I actually like having Capture Energy is because you can go Capture Energy on Decidueye or the Sobble, and you can get a Rowlet or a second Sobble. It's just a really good card in this deck. I've always liked playing Capture Energy in these Inteleon decks because it allows you to get another Sobble down, which will, in theory, give you more trainers to work with when you go Drizzle. So it's just a really good card in here. Any change I would make would maybe add a Dartrix, another Decidueye, search up, switch up the ball searching count a little bit. Other than that, I mean, this is the best I can come up with for building this Inteleon Decidueye deck in our new standard format. So let's see how it does. Let's see if we can win some games. All right, guys, get into our first match for Decidueye Inteleon. We'll see how this deck plays again for you guys, and we'll see how we do. We get a Rowlet Sobble start. All right, we'll start the Sobble, bench the Rowlet. Unfortunately, our hand is a little unplayable. We have no way to get a Decidueye turn two, but we are just gonna see a mulligan. Ooh, we're playing against a Grimmsnarl VMAX deck. Okay, I don't know if they'll ever use Grimmsnarl VMAX, but it is weak to grass. Um, but they do have Hydreigon, which can attack me. I think Hydreigon does 130 damage, so it can't one-shot Decidueye. There's an evil incense. Um, let's go here. Sure. Uh, we can energy spinner to thin out a card two. 
Nah, we can pass. I mean, we have a pretty good hand next turn, right? We can go Drizzle. Um, well, actually, we don't have a way to get a Supporter, I guess. As long as the situation I can live, we're chilling. Do they have another basic? They are weak to grass, actually, too. Okay, so I drink until it's weak to grass. Okay, never mind. So we can just kind of body them with the Sidui. But do they have another Pokemon is the question. Do they have another Pokemon? I mean, I kind of feel bad. You know, Hydreigon is the mascot on the channel. It's my favorite Pokemon. It's it's the boy. But um, in this case, Hydreigon is like, we got we to gotta destroy it. Yeah, okay. That was a very eventful game, guys. Very eventful match. This is uh, what you get. This is what you expect out of the PDC Geo standard format. Let's go, rare candy. Kind of feel bad, kind of don't. I mean, it is what it is. This is this again. This is standard format for you guys. This is what you expect to see in the standard format nowadays. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry, little one. Literally, little one, man. It's the, it's the little mascot, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's why I like the Drizzle engine in the Italian. That's why I always thought it was good. Like, it just gets you Rare Candy Sidui when you need it. All right, guys, get into another match. It looks like we have ran into a Fire deck here. And as you can see, this is why we do play Italian in the deck. Not only can it attack, or sorry, not only, well, it can attack. But yeah, not only can it attack, I messed that up. I meant to say something else. Um, ooh, do we want to go first or second? Well, I think I actually want to go, make my opponent go first. It's still logical, even though we are playing a stage two deck. I think making them go first is still logical. Ooh, not a very good hand. Actually, well, I guess we can quick ball for Grookey. We need to get a Grookey down. And try it. I want to build up a Grookey as soon as possible so we can try to attack with the, with the Inteleon. Okay. Let's draw an extra card. Great. Great, great, great. Love love to see it. Ooh, they're playing Charizard VMAX. Okay. We'll see how many Volcanians they have. Let's see, we draw here. Oh my god, stop giving me energy, bro! What the heck is this? Why do I have all my energy in my opening hand? What is this supposed to be? Actually, I don't even know if we should... Well, I know we can't. Well, our hand is so bad. We're going to capture energy, though, for Rowlet. Okay. How... Like, look, look, let's look at all the outs we have. I mean, we can even Rosa next turn because they could knock out Mew. Um, yeah, we have a good amount of outs here, I guess. I mean, the only thing is we don't... I guess even, like, if we draw Scoop Up Net, we can still get... We can use this calm. All right, we got. If Mew can live here, that'd be great. What are the chances they have a Welder? Probably very high, so they probably knock out Mew. Oh, they got the V Max. Oh, yeah. All right. So, bring in the Rowlet, I guess. We really, we can try to hide behind. So we really want to get a Decidueye down. Okay, that'll help. We can get a basic, and then calm for Drizzle. I don't really know what I want to Drizzle for though. I guess, like, we can take... We can go Rosa for Rare Candy, I guess. But then we won't have um, a follow-up for next turn. I don't know if I like that idea, though. I do want to get... Uh, should I just do it? I want to get the Decidueye down. But then we'll be in top deck mode, which isn't very good. But we can attack next turn Decidueye. And they don't have a Volcanian in play yet. And we don't know their hand, so maybe they don't have a boss. Alright, let's just do Rosa. Whatever. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, we'll be in top deck mode, but uh, I'm going to accept my fate here. I'll accept my fate. I don't know. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with this. As long as they don't have a boss's order and another triple energy in their hand, we should be okay. Um, this forced them to have to dig with Volk. I could have went Marnie. Maybe Marnie. Okay, yeah, see, they don't have anything. See, paid off. And we do research. I'm going to hold the hand, though. I don't want to get rid of two more energy just yet. I'm just going to hit him for 90. We'll save the hand and just go from there. I mean, uh, maybe we should have... Well, actually, no. I want to put energy. We'll patch the energy, and then we'll do research, because I want to try to set up an Inteleon and try to get maybe Boss's Order to boss up a Volcanian that they try to bench. I just don't want to run out of energy. We have Training Court, though, I guess. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. We have Training Court available to us. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. They can't deal with the Decidueye just yet. Uh, they're going to need to get Volcanian, and no, they still don't have anything. Alrighty, then. Oh, they concede. All right. See, maybe they can see with the Inteleon. Let's see if they had any Volk in the deck. They had three Volcanians. They only had three ways to do damage. Okay. They had net. Yeah. They had two boss. Yeah. Pretty straightforward Charizard deck. Three Volcanians. They couldn't get one, I guess. I mean, I I, I mean, we would have won, right? We would have hit them for 90 again, and then they didn't have anything. We would have just went Inteleon probably and won the game with an attack for 240. 
All right, guys, get another match. It looks like we've ran into possibly another fire deck. He's got a Charmander deck box and a Charizard coin. We'll find out if he lets me go first or not. He's going to go first. All right, it's probably not a fire deck then. Uh, we'll see how our start's looking here. Ooh, it's a little awkward. We do have a Turf Field and a Drizzle Calm. Okay. This isn't... T I guess we can turn to Decidueye. Oh. All right, we are playing against ADP, guys. Here we go. Can we take down ADP? We'll find out. It comes down to really just lucky Mawiles and if they play, you know, multiple attackers. Our start isn't very good. They didn't get energy on, which is good. Yeah, our start is a little disappointing here. We can calm for a Sobble, I guess, which is something. We can, I guess we get Decidueye next turn. It's not too bad. We do have the Decidueye. We actually probably should play Turf Field now. I don't want them to Marnie me. They don't have two Decidueyes. I do want to play this now in case of a, uh, in case of a, uh, well, they'll probably Marnie me, right? In case the Chaotic Swell, but I'll, I'll do it anyways. This might be a little... Oh, yeah, we have one Decidueye prize. This might be a little aggressive, but I'm gonna go for it. Hide and seek, get heads one time. You'd love to see it. All right. I mean, they might Marnie me. They might not. We'll find out. If they Marnie me, they Marnie me. What I'm hoping for is we can either draw an energy or a supporter here. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, there's a Marnie. All right, so it pays. I mean, if they don't bump my stadium, this is actually fine because then we get to keep the... Um, we get to keep... The turf field. Okay, you see, we actually got a better hand because now we can actually go to Sidewai and Supporter, or Scoop Up Net even. It's actually pretty good. So let's go Calm for the Drizzle. It is a little ridiculous that they did manage to get the E Switch combo off with the Marnie. It's like 80. Like chill out. Stop. Stop being so ridiculously broken. Just for one minute, ADP. Can you can you just not be the most broken thing in the game? Just please and thank you for one minute. Maybe, maybe we don't need the turf field. No, we don't. Uh, the training court, sorry. We don't need the training court, do we? No, probably not. We did get rid of our Orny Rod, so... I don't know. I don't want to give him a free energy yet. Eh. Nah, we're going to re... Oh, they concede! <laughs> Fucking ADP. All right. Sorry. I just love being ADP with Decidueye because, you know, ADP, it's like my least favorite thing on the planet, so it's always good to beat it. But it looks like they didn't have a counter to me. I probably could have checked their deck, but once again, my boy Drizzle just enabling Decidueyes out of nowhere. I right, get another match. We've, per we've been having some pretty quick games with this deck, but hey, that's nature of Situi. And we beat an ADP deck technically, so hey, I'll take it. Beating ADP is always a win in my books. Beating that horrible thing is always good to see. Um, all right, we'll see here how our new starts looking here. A little awkward. We have no supporter. I'm kind of liking Great Ball possibly more than these Pokecoms. I feel like Great Ball might actually be more beneficial in this deck. We're playing against another ADP deck, bro. Chill out with the ADP. Oh my goodness. Why is everyone playing ADP today? I'm not complaining. Well, I am complaining, but like... I mean, whatever. If we can be another ADP deck, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, with a start like this, though, it's not looking great. To be honest, it's not looking too good. Um, our start is a little awkward, but we'll see how this goes. If we can get a good top deck here, this will make up for it. And, I mean, that is okay, I guess. We're going to quick ball here for the Rowlet. Capture and G. I'm going to get a second Sobble. Or do we want a second? Actually, I'll get a second Rowlet. It's probably safe to have two Rowlets. What's up the pass? So we do have to watch out for Mawile, obviously, too. That's, other, that's the other thing about playing against ADP. Just because you get to Sidueye down does not mean you're always going to win. Because they can just they can get a Mawile on you out of nowhere and then win. Unfortunately, again, our start is pretty dang awkward here. Hopefully, they don't play Duraludon. Or rank... Well, they probably play Guru. Yep, there's the Guru. This is where having Inteleon could be pretty good to knock out this Oranguru. Again, our start is pretty bad. So I'm hoping we can get something here. They found their Water Energy. So there you go. Oh my god. These draws, bro. These draws. I can't be having it. So I gotta knock out my Sobble, and then we'll Rosa for Rare Cane Decidueye. Hit this for 20. It's gonna have to be the play. If we, once we knock out the Guru, though, we're pretty much in the gold. No, they got the boss's mortar. The boss's mortar. Yes, I said that on purpose, but uh, it's a little awkward. I mean, that's fine, though. They get two prizes. You love to see it. Oh, wait, what? They're building up Zacian? Wait, what are they doing? Why would they? Okay, I, I, I doesn't. I don't know why they wouldn't just put all the energy on the Guru, but hey, I'm complaining. That is good for me, I guess. What isn't good is our uh, position win, but we might be okay here. Maybe we will go to the quick ball. We'll Rosa here for Drizzle. No, we have to get Rare King to Sidueye.
We are in top deck mode, which is not good. We do have calm though. Not much I can really do until we can actually get a better top deck here. We'll see how it goes. Yo, should we just play like one vitality ban here so we can go like split an arrow, finish this off with a situa? So now I'm gonna, gonna knock out my decision with Guru. Oh man, this is so awkward. They have a cape of toughness. Of course they do. Of course. They have Jirachis too. They just have everything that can damage the situation, apparently. Hopefully this the ADP doesn't move, even though it probably will. You just retreat, obviously. Yeah, I just wish we drew better. Ooh, a Marnie. I am fine with that. This hand was a little awkward, so a Marnie actually isn't too bad to see. Let's see if we can get a good hand here. Okay, we got an evil wind sense for Drizzle. That's what I like to see. But they got the switch, so they can just hit me here for 100. <sighs> then we get knocked out next turn. Fun times. Another Rowlet's good. So we can go, go evil wind sense. We have to time this perfectly. That's the other problem, though. We have to, like, kind of time this right. Um, I'm actually going to go energy spinner. We're at the attached to Rowlet here. We have to go here. I'll hold the hand too. And then we'll just go. We don't need to hit the Jirachi, do we? I guess we'll hit it. We'll go here. Then we'll knock him out next turn with the Intalion play. We'll go Rare King to Um Scoop up the Intalion off the board. And then we'll just hopefully win from there. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, we do need to find energy. If we whip energy, we just probably lose the game. We can't let this guru hit me anymore because then we get destroyed by Jirachi, probably. Marnie's not good. All right. Do we even have a way to go get Decidueye here? I think we have Turfield Rare Candy, right? Yeah. So we got to go Turfield Candy. We could go Rosa, actually. Yeah, yeah, Rosa's better, right? We go Rare Candy, Decidueye, Energy. Yeah, Rosa's way better. What else do I want to get, though? Maybe boss? I kind of feel like we just Marnie them here. I do want to get boss's order though on the Jirachi. I might, well, I don't want boss to go to the bottom of the deck. We can go quick ball and then discard the Sobble in case they drop a Mawile on me. I'll do that instead, I guess. We'll see how this goes. Let's get the water energy. We're not gonna be attacking with the Italian anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I wish maybe Shingon Grass. I actually, I don't think it matters. So let's go here. Net the Inteleon and uh, quick ball the Sobble away for nothing. And then we will split an arrow. All right. We'll see if we can win the game from here. We'll see. This is the best I can do. Unfortunately, they got the early knockout on my Rallid there. So that's nothing. Not, not much I can do about that. So now we just got to hope we can win the game with this one Decidueye. So far, it's okay, though. So far, it's okay. I'm a little stressed out, not gonna lie. At the end of the day, it is ADP. If they drop like a Duraludon on me here or another Guru, I think we just got a scoop. So this thing's doing 50 damage. They have to hit me three times. Okay, they're actually building up Zacian. Never mind. Oh, they're gonna have to draw. It doesn't matter though. We're gonna always one shot with Split and Arrow. Unless they have another thing. There's a Marnie. Hopefully, we do not get Mawild here. We are running out of cards to discard too for basic. So we could just lose to a Mawile. Got the, got the Sobble. So it was research, I guess. Attach to Jirachi. What else? We could try to build up another Decidueye. That just seems too risky, though. Okay, there's Quick Ball. They might get to Dene. If we can get Boss, I'm feeling good. Ooh, they got multiple Jirachis. How many medals do they have left? They played... Oh, they're not... Oh, they're... they actually might be out of Metal Energy here anyway. So they have to rely on Metal Saucer. I'm fine with that. We'll Marnie them. Let's see what we get. Ah, I don't like seeing these Sobbles. I still can't find a boss's order though, unfortunately. Would like to see one here. How much HP do they have left? 60, so we can knock them out. Yeah, this will really come down to whether or not they can knock out the Decidueye. This is going to be a very close game. It also will come down to a Mawile. I mean, they literally might just have Mawile in their hand. Oh, I Marnie them in a Saucer. I was hoping I wouldn't do that. We can still one-shot this. Not too bad. It's not too bad. Another quick ball. Do they have a Mawile? They can literally go Mawile game. Nope, they have Jirachi. Maybe they don't play Mawile? This is super intense. Not gonna lie, this is super intense. What's their hand? Marty them do a pretty dang good hand. You hate to see it. Um, 
Oh boy, here we go. Do they have, um... I mean, they have Mawad and I scooping at the thing. So they hit me for 50. That's not gonna do... That's only 50 damage. Oh, 60 damage. Okay, they're still not two-shotting me, though. That's all that matters. Just gonna research. Try to get boss. No, not today. We could, in theory, go with a... We could go drop the Sobble, but we're going to lose if we do that. I think we just got to go for it. It's the best I can do is splitting arrow. They can't two-shot me with Drachi. As long as they can't tag me with another Drachi, we're still chilling. We might just lose these Drachis, but we can actually knock out the ADP in a couple turns, too. Oh boy, this is close. No, they have another Metal Saucer. But they actually might be out of energy to attach. I gotta assume they are low on energies. Never mind, they have three waters. Of course they do. Alright, please don't have another Jirachi. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jirachi is scary. We don't want to see him get any more Jirachis. Okay, good. Alright. So we knocked this out. Um, do we want to go Marnie or Research? I think I just Research. Yeah, I'm just going to Research. I wish maybe we played, like, a heal card. That'd be pretty cool. Um. Whew, still can't find Boss's Order, apparently. It's in there. We just can't seem to find it. Alright, here we go. Splitting Arrow. So if they don't knock me out next turn, we win the game. That's how this will go. If they don't kill me, we win. Let's see if we got this. This is close, though. I guess, like, hey, they got the they got the upper hand. They had the, they had the Guru and the Drachis. How much we can do about that? I maybe could have Marnie them, but, like, my last Marnie gave them, like, a good hand. I don't want to risk it again. I'll just make it hope they don't have what they got. Let's see. Cherish Ball. So they don't play Mawile unless it's prized. Let's see. Did we just clean out a win against ADP? Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, it feels good. Two ADPs in a row. You'll love to see it. Whew. That was a close game, though. That was a really close game. All right, guys. Getting into another match here. Uh, we've won the coin flip, so that's good. Uh, we've beaten two ADP decks, though, so I'm feeling pretty good about this deck. You know, we've taken down ADP twice. You'll love to see it. We do have a rare candy. We have no way to get Decidueye just yet, so hopefully that changes... That does indeed change. Now we gotta hope we don't get donked or marnied. Um, judging from the Absol, I don't know what they're playing. Capture energy. Are they playing mill, bro? I mean, no. Okay, they're playing turn. I was like, are they playing mill? But they're not. They're playing app. They're playing. Uh, they're playing dark. I thought it was gonna be a mill deck when they played the capture energy, but it's not. See, we're gonna get marnied or donked. Okay, no Marnie. So if they don't knock me out here, we're chilling. Ooh, three energy gets discarded. That is really good. That's four energy wasted, technically, which is really good. Okay. Let's see. Do they have, like, some crazy goons? I think... If they're playing Toxicroak, that's gonna be bad. We'll see. Okay, nope. Just a pass. You love to see it. Uh, you don't love to see having to discard two Inteleons, but it's actually not too bad, because we don't even need them in this matchup right now, anyways. Unless they drop a Hoopa. And there's an energy... I'm going to get another Rowlet just in case. We do have the big Parasol here, which we're going to play. And Splitting Arrow. Here we go. We're going to get the train rolling. All right. Can we take down this Eternus deck? I have no idea what kind of a build of Eternus this is. So we can take it down. The Absol can do... Um, can do 90 damage to me, I think. Yeah. That's actually kind of scary. So it can hit me pretty hard. So we definitely have to try to get double Decidueye. But I'm feeling pretty good about our spot right now. As long as they don't play Crushing Hammer. We do have that training court, though. But losing the Rod is... What kind of sketches me there? Okay, they have tombs. Okay, they have a lot of counters. All right, they do have some attackers here, which is a little scary. We'll see if we can take them down. Again, I'm feeling good if we can just constantly keep hitting energy every single turn. Um, that's all we need. Let's see where they put this goon ping on my active. Okay, then. Ooh, I'm glad they're playing that down now, so we can always um, bump that later on. Ooh, they get rid of a boss? All right. They're down four energy, a boss's order, four draw supporters, and they're down a reset and a black market. They have lost a lot of their gunpowder. Gunpowder? Gunpower. All right, these goons are a little annoying, though. They're hitting me pretty decently hard. 
Is there any healing cards we could play? Should we play Potion? Okay, they have a lot of attackers, apparently. They have Hoopa 2, unfortunately. All right, well, it is weak to grass. Okay, we're definitely going to have the bench Sobble, then. We're definitely going to bench Sobble. They actually could hit me with Hoopa here, and they could actually knock me out if they get enough scoop-up net combos. I doubt that'll happen. We'll see, though. If we can draw a boss, I'm going to boss knock out the Spear Tomb and hit this for 20, I think. Another turn is VMAX. Let's see what else. Hopefully no energy attachment. Nice. Okay. Another Sobble. This little energy spinner here. Should we Marnie them or should we just attack? I kind of feel like just attacking them. We have Calm for Drizzle in hand. I guess we're on the Inteleon. Alright, we'll bench the Sobble. Then we'll Marnie them. Matchup like this, we can actually afford to bench a couple Sobble. It's not too bad. Um, there's the Decidueye. There's the Dark Tra Okay, cool, cool. This is a good hand. Um, we are missing energy, but that's fine. We can go double Drizzle next turn. And I don't even know where to put this damage, to be honest. I guess we just hit Hoopa and Absol. I don't want to hit the Spirit Tomb, obviously, so we're just going to hit these two. That, they didn't even do Building Spite last turn, I just realized. Hmm. That's actually fine. They've got to Building Spite. That's actually really good. They have 160 HP. Okay, so we can hit them twice more with, like, Feather on the bench. We can knock them out with Aqua Bullet. And they're attached to their active, which means they actually can't even do... Um, I can't even attack this turn with Hoopa or Spirit Tomb, which is good. Just a pass. You'll love to see it. We're kind of taking control. There's a training core. We actually could play that, but I don't want to give him a training core just yet. That's a late game type of scenario card. If we give him a training court, we give them free access here to be able to get their energy back they discarded. So we can actually do boss here and knock out this Hoopa, which I might do, and I think I am going to. Yeah, we're going to boss that Hoopa up. Assuming it's in the deck. If it's not in the deck, I actually don't know what I'm going to get here. Yeah, it's in the deck. All right, we're chilling. Actually, Turf would have been pretty good. Turf would have been decent. We could hit the Spirit Tomb, but I'm just going to keep hitting these two. Knock out this Hoopa. Hope they don't have any more Hoopas. Energy? No, another Rare Candy. We don't really need another Decidueye. I think we can win with two Decidueyes. I mean, I do want to put a stadium down. We can Inteleon for uh, turf field next turn, actually. It's fine. It's all good. Let's see if they have a boss. There's... Okay. They actually forgot to do Building Spite again. This guy it just doesn't know what Building Spite does, apparently. He forgot to do it twice in a row. That is actually pretty hilarious. Okay, he actually scoops the Absol, which is fine. Let's see what else he's got. Just a Dread End for nothing. All right, you love to see it. Um, there's a Quick Ball. They, they concede. All right, we took a turn just down. All right, I think I'm proud that he's 50 guys with this Inteleon Decidueye deck. I think we've done a good job showing off everything this deck is aiming to do. Um, yeah, it's not bad still. I still kind of like this deck. I, I think the main weakness this deck suffers is just having the loss of counter gain. I don't know what I would really change about my list other than maybe playing like Grey Balls. Maybe bump up the Evil Incense count. Maybe play a Dartrix. I think this deck could probably use a Dartrix too. I don't know if I would change anything else about the list though. I think the energy count's fine. I mean... You made me want to play my, another another boss wouldn't hurt. There's a lot of moments there where I wouldn't mind having another like having a boss in my hand. But other than that, yeah, this is going to be it for the Inteleon Decidueye video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed watching me beat some ADP decks, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Help me on the road to reaching 12,000 subs. Uh, check out my Patreon down below if you guys want to pledge $2 a month for exclusive content. Make sure to do so. If you're looking for PCO codes, get them over at CarCabin, guys. They have them for the cheapest on the market. And use code LDF if you end, if you order any codes over at checkout. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter down below. Once I reach 1,000 followers, I'll do a giveaway. All that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye-bye.